Thank you, thank you, Rodolfo. Thank you for, uh, for inviting me uh, to uh, this symposium. It's a great honor for me. Um, hello, everybody. My name is uh, Jessica Pico. So I'm a researcher um, at the University of uh, Gustave Eiffel in France. Uh, and I'm the head of uh, the Murray Laboratory, which is a joint research unit between two institutions, uh, University Gustave Eiffel and uh, CIRIMA. So my talk uh, will be about uh, ISAMPA or ISAMPA, ISAMPA in français, in French, ISAMPA in English. And uh, I will give you an overview of uh, the story of ISAMPA uh, on uh, the last uh, 20 years. Okay. So ISAMPA is, a, or ISAMPA is an open source software for um, 3D sound propagation modeling. Uh, in reality, it's not a uh, um, calculation code, but a um, graphical user interface that can uh, host uh, 3D numerical codes. So it's like um, a pre and post processor, which can manage input data and manage uh, the result of calculation. And between, you have a coupling between ISAMPA and the numerical codes. So uh, if you have already seen Isampa working, uh, you probably have seen that uh, we have two numerical codes which are implemented in the Isampa software. The SPPS code, which is a, a kind of uh, ray tracing, but more particle tracing. And another code called TCR, which is a classical theory of reverberation for room acoustics. Look, when, when you download the software, you have the graphical user interface Isampa and two numerical codes, SPPS and TCF. So um, just a few words about the story of ISAPA, in order for you to understand why we have developed this software. Uh, the beginning was in 2001, 20 years ago, where we have uh, developed a new modeling for sound propagation in streets. The first code we developed was the SPPS code, as I said before, a kind of a, a ray tracing, but more particle tracing. That means that we consider particles that, that are emitted by uh, sound sources and which travel in the, in the outdoor environment. And uh, we, uh, at this time, we, um, we try to develop an analytical model in order to uh, predict the noise level in streets. So the model was based on transport equation, uh, modeling the sound particle distribution in, uh, in a domain, in a 3D domain. And when we have developed this analytical model, we wanted to uh, validate this model. And uh, the idea we had was to um, simulate the sound particle propagation and to compare with the analytical model. And uh, we have developed a MATLAB program uh, called SPPS that you can see on the uh, on this screen, which uh, was able to uh, um, create a rectangular geometry street as a, a room with uh, an opening street, uh, opening the uh, top, and two opening at the extremities, and uh, some reflection and diffusion at uh, the facades and on the ground. So this program was developed in MATLAB in order to simulate any kind of uh, rectangular screen with specific uh, surface uh, um, properties, acoustical properties. So this is the beginning of uh, the ISAPA, but the really the beginning of the SPPS, SPPS code. Later, we have decided to, um, to develop a specific interface in order to host all the numerical code we, we developed in our laboratory. In fact, SPPS was only one code, particular, particular one code, but we, we had also many uh, computational code for uh, room acoustics, but also for outdoor sound propagations. And the problem we had was that it was difficult to compare both numerical codes because uh, it was difficult to manage 
all the input data and all the results. So we decided to create a specific interface that can host all the numerical codes and manage the same input data and which was able to compute uh, the results as uh, acoustic indicators, for example. So um, this PSPS, which was the uh, French acronym for uh, Platform de Simulation de la Propagation Sonore, was the first version of uh, iSampa. We use it um, for uh, many study, many studies of uh, the sound propagation in buildings, in outdoor, in several configuration. For example, on this screen, you can see uh, a specific uh, model, which is called the diffusion model, the MD code uh, that I've speak uh, before, which is able to model uh, the sound propagation in a building, um, considering uh, absorption, reflection, and transmission between partition wall in order to model all the, um, the sound field inside an, uh, a building, for example. And uh, two years later, we, uh, we have changed the name of um, PSPS to ISAMPA, ISAMPA, which means in French, uh, Interface pour la Simulation de la Propagation Acoustique, so Interface for the, the Simulation of Acoustic Propagation in 3D geometries. And uh, we include in this uh, interface uh, the SPP8 code and the TCR code, as well as um, the MDF uh, diffusion model code that I speak before, uh, in order to realize researches uh, for our own uh, needs. It's, it was not a public uh, version of the software. Um, it must be noted that uh, when we have realized uh, the first coping between ISAMPA and the diffusion model code, for example, we, in fact, realized coupling between ISAPA and Coms, uh, another software called Comsol, uh, Comsol Multi Physics, maybe you, you know Comsol. And uh, this was a, an example of what is possible to do between our software, ISAPA, and any external uh, software, for example, like Comsol. And later, Comsol has um, I've proposed to include our model in, directly in their software. And now you can find the diffusion model in the acoustic uh, module of uh, Comsol. Uh, during uh, the years we have used ISAMPA and during the research project we had with many partners, we have seen that many partners were, were very interested by this software for their own needs. And uh, we decided uh, to uh, propose uh, a public distribution of this software. And uh, in 2012, we, uh, we have proposed a website that was able to um, download uh, uh, the ISAPA software as a freeware. It was the first public version of the software. And it was also probably the first official communication of the software around the, around the world through uh, communication in Congress, for example. Uh, this uh, software um, was uh, very successful. Uh, from now, we can uh, count around 15,000 downloads of this uh, version of the software. And uh, we have seen that many, many people were very interested by this software, researchers, students, teachers, uh, many people, in fact. And we, uh, we had many, many uh, solicitations by many people who wanted to have uh, um, new, uh, new versions, uh, to who ask questions for, for how to use uh, the software. Uh, many, many uh, requests uh, to enhance the, the program. And, but it was very difficult for us to, uh, to give a relevant answer to all these, these requests because in fact, we, uh, we, we were only two people to, uh, to uh, manage this, this program. So we, we have decided uh, later to uh, propose to the community to, uh, to develop 
is sympa too with us. Uh, so we have proposed uh, in 2014 uh, to um, open Isampa as an open source software. And we have uh, worked, worked very hard to uh, propose um, a clear source code uh, in order for any contributors to propose its own contribution. So uh, we have first uh, changed the official language of the software to English in order for any contributor to understand the code. Uh, we have also uh, realized um, some new uh, extension, new development, and we have uh, diffused the software as an uh, open source in an open source platform called GitHub. And uh, we have diffused uh, the software as a GPL uh, 3.0 license. During the last seven years, we have, we have uh, proposed some pre-release, not stable release, but only pre-release um, with few improvement. Uh, but during this period, it was very difficult for us to, um, to develop more with software because we, we were also on many, many projects and uh, we, we, we need, we need uh, time and resources for, for further development of uh, this software. And uh, at the beginning of this year, we have uh, start a launch uh, the first uh, official open source release of the software with uh, many uh, announcements and improvements uh, from the last uh, freeware version. And we have realized many changes in the, in the software. Uh, it prob it's probably not very visible between the for users because the, the features are the same, but we have uh, realized many uh, change, changes uh, in order for the software to be uh, um, to be used in in a new version operating system, new ver Windows version, for example. Uh, so uh, it was very important for us. And in addition, we have also proposed a new online documentation in English this time. The, the old version of the documentation was only in French. And uh, we thought it would be more useful for people to read an English documentation than a, a French uh, documentation. And during the last period, we have also modified and uh, um, create a more useful website in order to, to uh, distribute uh, this software. So, um, who can use uh, Isampa? Uh, Isampa is mainly for researchers because it was uh, developed by researchers like me with a French uh, uh, numerical specialist, Nicolas Fortin, who had uh, realized many of the, the develop, uh, informatic development, numerical developments. So this software is more for researchers who want to uh, realize some researches uh, about room acoustic, building acoustic, outdoor sound propagation. But we have also seen that uh, this software was uh, very interesting for teachers in order to uh, realize some courses in, uh, in acoustics. Some students also for student projects uh, and sometimes by engineers uh, in uh, private companies who wanted to use or to test this software um, in comparison with uh, other commercial software, for example, Cat Acoustics and Odeon, which are great logical, great software too. So, um, but, but the, the, the idea of the, of the code, the, the platform was very, very uh, dedicated to, uh, to research. So few words uh, about what is inside the sampa, what is its particularity. So because it was um, uh, a research, a research uh, software, we have tried to, for example, to be the most open as possible. That means that everybody can uh, contribute to the software 
can modify the interface, can connect its own computational code, can uh, export data, uh, can um, make many, many evolutions of the software without um, using uh, programming language in order for people to use it as more relevant as possible. So the most the, the word open is was very important for us, and the idea was it was not a black box like some software, but but an open an open box. That means that uh, any, any people must understand uh, what is doing in this software. So if you are a user, you can simply use this software. If you are a researcher. You can use the software, but manipulate data, manipulate the interface in order for you, for you to develop your own needs uh, for your own researches. Uh, if you are um, an informatician, you can contribute to the code, you can modify the interface, you can do many, many things. So it was very important for us. This word open was the most important thing for us. So if we look, uh, inside uh, the software, just to point some specific particularities. Um, the first thing I can say is about the geometry. Um, this is uh, a very important thing in the software um, because when you, uh, don't, you um, import the geometry in Isampa, you have to deal with its um, Quality. That means that if you import uh, a geometry, free geometry, geometry which is not perfect, you will have some problem in the calculation. Um, that means you have to be very um, uh, uh, make great attention to the geometry you import. Uh, so sometimes, if you uh, use uh, some geometries uh, made by another people. You can import the geometry, but you can see that there are some holes, for example, in the geometry, some surfaces are, are losing. Uh, the geometries cannot work uh, with uh, the computational code. So we have decided to um, propose a, a way to correct uh, the model. So you can, ISAPA can detect some uh, 3D uh, problems, but ISAPA can also propose an approximate geometry that fit your initial geometry. For example, if you look uh, in the upper uh, figure, you can see uh, a theater with many uh, uh, surfaces, where many surface, surfaces are, lo are losing, are lost. And uh, if you try to run this, uh, this model in Isapa, it will not be uh, working. So you can modify the geometry the geometry uh, and create a geometry which is kind of an approximate geometry, and this geometry will be uh, fully functional in Isapa. So this is a, for us uh, a great announcement, um, a great feature of uh, the software. Um, about material, um, you have the you, you can you can uh, create database inside the the software, your own database uh, for materials. So you can create materials or group of materials by giving um, absorption, diffusion, transmission coefficients, for example. But you can also import uh, data from over acoustic software. It's not a problem. So um, uh, the, the database which is given in the ISAMPA is probably poor today, but you can increase uh, the database by your own uh, materials, and you can uh, uh, copy, for example, materials from uh, one project to another project in Isaba. It's uh, quite uh, simple. Um, about sound sources, um, here again, you can uh, create some uh, punctual, punctual sound sources. Um, each source, each source is uh, defined by, by its uh, spectrum. So you can create, create several uh, kinds of spectrum. Uh, you can also define the property of the sound source like directivity, delay, uh, its position, uh, 
and you can organize all your source source in uh, in group and or um, subgroups in order to uh, organize your project in fact uh, and you can manipulate the sound source by group. For example, you can copy a group to another group, copy a source from a, a group to another one. You can translate a group of sound sources, uh, rotate the sources. Uh, you can do uh, many um, manipulation in order to, uh, for the user um, to, uh, uh, to organize the project and to um, facilitate the uh, um, management of uh, the sound sources. Uh, about receivers, uh, in ISAPA, you can uh, use two kinds of receivers. Um, the first one is the punctual receivers, point receivers. And here again, you can define some properties like uh, its position, of course, but directivity, orientation, with background noise at the receiver position. You can also organize the sound sources in, um, in group and subgroups. And, like for punctual sound sources, you can manage, uh, translate, rotate uh, any groups of uh, receivers. You can also define some uh, surfaces um, as receivers uh, of the model. So um, if you want to, to create a sound map, for example, on the audience uh, surfaces, you can just uh, define the surface as a, as a surface receiver and we will be able to, to compute a nice map. We can also define some uh, uh, cut planes, that means the planes that you create in order to, to have uh, additional uh, surfaces for the computation. Uh, another particularity in ISAPA is the possibility for uh, the user to uh, create some fitting zone. Uh, a fitting zone is a um, re rectangular zone uh, which is defined by, by statistical parameters in order to simulate the, di the acoustic diffusion of sound in a, um, a domain with many, many objects. It's a um, simple way to, um, to manage acoustic diffusions, like, for example, in industrial halls, where you have uh, many, many objects on the surfaces. And um, instead of creating each object, you can create a whole domain with particular uh, statistical uh, parameters for diffusion. Um, as I said uh, before, um, even if uh, ISAMPA is well oriented to room acoustics or building acoustics, you can also use the software, depending on the code you are uh, connected, um, for outdoor sound propagation. So you are able to also to uh, to um, define some uh, uh, environmental data, like uh, atmospheric atmospheric condition, for example, uh, but also uh, some meteorological parameters, like for example the sound speed um, velocity um, for outdoor sound propagation. It means that if you want to uh, simulate uh, the propagation on an open field, uh, you can uh, consider um, to uh, create some specific sound speed, sound speed velocity profile, for example. And um, we are also um, some possibility to, to compute some specific indicators in ISAMPA, uh, which are quite uh, indicators for uh, room acoustics. So you can find all the classical indicators like uh, reverberation time, clarity, echogram. But you can also calculate some uh, additional indicators like intensity vectors, um, which can be useful for uh, studying the direction of the propagation of the, the waveform, for example. You have also the possibility to um, realize, realize some animation for sound map or for sound intensity, uh, which is uh, fully integrated in the software. So you can uh, realize some great uh, particle traffic animation, for example. 
So um, to conclude for this part, um, just to uh, to say that what was very important for us is that the software was as very open as possible. That means you you can understand what is happening in the software. You can manipulate the software. You can manipulate the data. You can uh, do a lot of things. It's very important for us. And we have also some specific features uh, that you can use. Uh, it, that can be useful for for research, for example, or for any kind of project. But it's not perfect, of course. Uh, um, we uh, the, probably the main uh, problem for Isampa users is the fact that we we need a perfect 3D model. It's not easy to to create such a model, and most of the time we have many uh, requests by users because. Um, they can uh, compute um, acoustic in their models because they are not perfect. So we will try later to propose a new version, a new version of the software, in order to uh, be, um, in order for the user to to include to import 3D model which are not perfect, but that we will be able to correct inside the the, the Isampa software or maybe to accept. That the model is not perfect. Uh, the other point which uh, must be a study uh, in the future is the fact that uh, the PES PPS code, which is a code which is uh, used by many of the contributors users, uh, cannot model scattering. Uh, SPPS can model absorption, uh, reflection, diffusion, transmission, uh, but no scattering. Or it can be useful for users to model scattering by panels, for example, in home acoustics. So it should be a, a very important point in the future of, uh, of the software. In addition, uh, some people have requested uh, to, for us uh, to, to create some oralization tool inside the SAMPA. So we have tried it in the past uh, to realize some such uh, oralization procedure, uh, but it, it's I think very complicated, and uh, there are some people who are very uh, um, specialist of uh, realization. And I think uh, we need uh, probably to to work the, the, with uh, such specialists instead of uh, trying to to do something that we will not probably be uh, the best thing uh, we, we could do in Isapa. And because uh, Isapa is an open source software. Um, the, the main problem probably for private company, for example, is, is that we have no customer services. So if you use this app, you use as it uh, without, uh, without any um, help from us because we have not time to help uh, anybody, everybody. So you, you use it uh, as a many uh, open source software. Uh, it's free, but we have, you have no services. And the other problem is probably that we are not able to program uh, the future release of the software because we uh, we work um, uh, day after day, so we are not able to to um, anticipate the future development of the uh, of the software. We know what we have to do, but we don't know when we will be able to do the thing we plan. So, uh, as I said, you, we, we know what we have to do. For example, if you want to include the realization tools, uh, we could work with uh, this uh, open source software, or open source code called, called Virtual Acoustics. Um, if you, we want also include source and receiver directivity for realization, we, we can also use uh, an op another open source uh, software called OpenDAF. And for example, if you want, if we want to uh, Create um, a full database for materials. We, we, we could use um, the, the format that has been defined in the OpenMath project. So there are a lot of uh, things we can do for connecting Isampa with other open source projects. It could be useful for the future. And we have also some uh, idea to. Uh, um, for the future of Isampa, like uh, uh, creating um, um, 
manage, manage a code manager. As I said, you can manipulate the data, you can connect your own code within Isampa, and you need to uh, use Python, uh, Python as a language. So uh, we can, we, you can create many toolboxes, and, but we will need a manager, a code manager in order to, uh, to manage all the toolboxes that will be uh, uh, created in the future. And another point we have to do also is to, to change the 3D engine within Insapa, which is probably too old now for running for most of uh, uh, personal computers. So we have to change from the old version to maybe a gaming engine in order to enhance the capabilities for Insapa to uh, uh, display all uh, the 3D model correctly. And of course, for SPPS, we have to uh, to deal with edge scattering. So, if you are interested by um, working with Isampa, I suggest you to to go to the um, uh, the documentation, English documentation, and to to, to try Isampa uh, by uh, testing three uh, configuration. Um, we have created three tutorials you can follow to learn on. Um, on the main features of uh, Isampa. And here you have some uh, application of Isampa. Uh, so you can use Isampa as a room acoustic software uh, on the, for example, on the right uh, top of the screen uh, with a theater. So you can compute any acoustical parameter, echogram, uh, clarity, reverberation, etc. Um, on the top left, uh, you have uh, an example of an industrial hall with three fitting zones. So uh, in this configuration, we can model the, the sound propagation uh, uh, from many sources uh, in the domain and considering also diffusion by many uh, scattering objects in each uh, fitting zone. Uh, you can, uh, we have the possibility also to consider transmission uh, between um, uh, a door, an aperture, or um, an aperture on a surface between uh, two rooms, for example, and compute many, uh, many, uh, many uh, acoustic uh, parameters. Um, you have also an example of the, the connection between ISAPA and the Nover code, so called NMPB, which is a French standard for the for producing noise map in outdoor environment. So we have connected uh, this code with Isampa and we were able to, uh, to model the, the, sound, the, the, noise, the noise level uh, on um, a ground with a specific uh, topography. And uh, in the here, uh, you have an example of uh, grouping uh, Isampa with a uh, uh, call, cause, call uh, oh, sorry, a call, a code called uh, TLM, which is quite similar to LDTD, uh, which is an undulatory uh, approach. And we use this part to manage the input data to, to, to run the computation. And the result can be uh, displayed in another software in order to see the, the animation, for example, of the wavefront uh, in the streets. So, um, to, to conclude this, uh, with this talk, I would like to, um, to, to, uh, to speak about contribution uh, of Isampa. So you, you can contribute to the code by many ways. Uh, you can um, uh, simply um, uh, request, request some in enhancement. You can report bug issues. You can uh, ask questions. Uh, you can uh, start discussions. It's a good way to contribute. Good way to contribute to the software, but also if you are a, a user of Isampa, you can also share your project, share your all your resources. If you use uh, Isampa for teaching, for example, you, you could be uh, it could be useful to uh, to share your courses with another uh, teacher in another country, for example. So you, you can do it if you want. Just contact me, and we will be able to. Uh, to share your project, for example. Uh, if you have your own computational code for specific configuration, you can try to connect this code to the to Isampa. Um, and if you develop some specific toolbox, toolboxes 
in ISAPA, for example, to create reports automatically or to create uh, to uh, to many things. In fact, uh, you can also share this uh, this toolbox, and we will try to include it in the next version of uh, the software. The documentation too, uh, if you uh, uh, simply uh, if you see some uh, mistakes in the documentation, you have the possibility to change the documentation by yourself. So you don't do not hesitate to come to contribute to the documentation, uh, to create tutorial, for example, uh, we'll be happy to we'll be happy to, to include it in the documentation. Uh, if you want to use the isampa in your own native language, uh, you can uh, translate isampa uh, too. Uh, we have many languages. Spain uh, is not complete completely uh, done. I think we need some translation for Spain Spanish. Right? Um, and of course, you can contribute to the code if you want to to develop new features in the in the code. You can uh, try to uh, contribute to the code. So to do to do that, um, we have tried to uh, uh, to develop a, a very a fully integrated system. That means that it should be easy for you to contribute to the code. So we are three um uh, three important things in the in this part um uh, I, I, hope, I hope do you see my uh, my screen with uh, the website yes we do yes so uh, the first thing you can uh, do is to go to the github platform and uh, if you want to contribute for example for uh, uh for creating a translation for example you just go to the github platform go to translate is sympa uh, and we have some you have some explanation and you will be able to translate is sympa by going to a specific translation uh, um, platform uh, where will you be where you will be able to to contribute for example if you want to translate in spanish uh, you just have to select the language and to select the part you want to translate. And uh, for example, you will be able to, find, to, to give a translation, for example, for, for this uh, string uh, to another one. This is uh, an empty translation in this case, but you, it was very easy. Uh, you can also, um, if, you are just, if you just want to, um, uh, sorry, if you want just, um, start a discussion go to the platform and start a discussion a new discussion it uh, will if you have some questions if you have if you want to to say something about this empire you, you can use this uh, uh, feature um, you can also report bugs uh, just create a new issue for example and explain what is the problem or what you want to do um, and we will try to uh, to list uh, all the issues and to to answer to the to the issue uh, directly or later included uh, in a new release. It's a it's a way also to contribute. Um, you can also, of course, uh, uh, contribute to the code. So you have here all the the code of Isaba. You can modify some some code. Uh, and we will try if you, if you uh, propose some uh, uh, announcement, we will include it in the in the last release. Um, and it, this uh, release will uh, automatically uh, produce uh, uh, a new installation of Insapa uh, in order for you to test uh, your new version, for example, of uh, including your modifications. Um, you, you can also uh, develop your own toolbox. Uh, so in the ISAPA program uh, folder installation, you can probably see uh, you have two folders, system script and user script, and you have example of Python script that we used in ISAPA, and you can uh, use uh, such example to create your own script if you want to manipulate uh, data, for example, if you want to, to man manage some sources or uh, receiver, you can see what we have already done by Python. Most of the feature we have in ISAPA was uh, uh, created by uh, 
Python script. So um, feel free to 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 use it as example. It's not a, it's a it's a good way to uh, to to start um, your contribution. Uh, if you want, simply just uh, change the, the icon, the graphical uh, display graphical display of Isinval. You can also uh, propose uh, your own version of the of the icons. Uh, for example, um, you have an explanation or how to define your the icon and where to put uh, the new files. Uh, if you want to write the documentation. Uh, you can go uh, to write documentation, uh, go to the documentation. This is a full documentation in English and you have the ability to, uh, to propose and change by editing it uh, on GitHub simply. So you have the, 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 the documentation here and you can modify it if you want um, by very simply. So you just need to, to create a, a GitHub account yeah, and you will be able to, uh, to report this you to create documentation, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, to conclude, in fact, I just want to say uh, that we need you. If you want uh, uh, a future for Isampa, uh, we need help, in fact. And uh, if you are interested by uh, joining a community, creating a community, contributing uh, contribute, uh, to the code, uh, we, it will be useful for us. Uh, and the idea is to, to create a community, to uh, animate this community in the future, and maybe by organizing uh, some events or uh, some courses uh, that could be useful for, uh, for um, the animate community. Um, if uh, we increase this community, probably we will try to propose a new governance of the project. Um, many open source projects have uh, moved to a foundation um, structure. And uh, we, we think that it could be a good way for Isampa to include new contributors with a new governance that um, allow for other people to uh, propose their own um, uh, uh, objective of the Isampa uh, the future. And uh, another way also for us is to find some fundings, maybe to, to, uh, to uh, develop uh, some new features and uh, to propose new release of uh, the uh, application. So uh, thank you uh, very much for uh, uh, listening to me and uh, I'm ready for your questions. Thank you. <laughs>